Hi there, I'm Rex King. Welcome back to another episode of Review Films currently in theaters. And today we're talking about Argyle. So Argyle is the recent film from Matthew Vaughn. Uh, it stars Bryce Dallas Howard as this woman named Ellie Conway, who's a famous uh, spy novelist who writes this book series called the Argyle series. However, when several things in the Argyle series begin to become true, she becomes under threat by this spy agency who really wants to capture her. And the only one standing between her and this super secret spy agency is this other spy, played by um, Sam Rockwell. And that's pretty much the general premise of the film. Now, I like Matthew Vaughn films. I really liked the Kingsman movies, and I really was kind of looking forward to this one to see what he was going to bring to the table. But this film, in comparison to his other works, is a lot weaker. The story isn't at paced nearly as well as it could be, and it is definitely 30 minutes longer than necessary. There's a lot of things at the end that just kind of get thrown at you in the hopes of extending the story, but it feels completely unnecessary. There are also a lot of moments where I did roll my eyes at the uh, premise and the ideas that the film was putting forth. Now, I can't go into specifics because that would spoil a lot of the reveals that the film is going for. Now, that being said, I still enjoyed the story overall. I still had fun with some of the beats it was going for. And the overall concept is fun and interesting to see. An outsider being drawn into this uh, world of spies and espionage. We've seen that before, but it's always a fun thing to see. Then we have um, the characters, and this one I'm a little torn about, because our main character starts off really uninteresting, in my opinion. I don't feel connected to Ellie Conway at all, but as the film starts to go uh, on, you really kind of get like some interesting ideas uh, about her, and how she perceives the world around her in relation to her books, and how that's all intertwined and connected. And I really enjoy that. Um, and the turn that happens with her in the film is also really intriguing, in my opinion. Uh, Sam Rockwell, Rockwell's character is your standard comedic uh, spy character, uh, who's really successful as a spy, but isn't what you would expect a spy to be from the description of the books and the other spy movies we've seen. But it really works for what the film is going for. And Sam Rockwell's performance with this type of character really works. And honestly, the performances in general are really well done. This is an all-star cast we're talking about. We have Samuel L. Jackson, Brian Cranston... Uh, Henry Cavill. This is a huge cast list of very good actors, and they all do a great job with what they're given. Um, now, the action set pieces are where the film starts to lose me at times. Some of them work really well, others not so much. There are a few action scenes in the beginning where she's watching... Sam Rockwell's character uh, get into these fights and she keeps switching between seeing him and her character Argyle fighting. And it's kind of weird. Like the first fight scene, I was like, okay, I get it. This is her real, like interpreting what's going on and getting, going through shock almost. But the, it happens again and it just, it feels out of place and unnecessary and it really feels jarring at times. There are, that being said, there are some better action scenes towards the end that I felt worked better and shows what Matthew Vaughn can do with action films in general. I really enjoyed uh, those ones over the ones in the beginning. There's also some really weird CGI moments that felt like really underdone and didn't feel like they were ready to be put out into the public. I don't really know what happened there. Uh, this is happening a lot in movies in general. It really feels like uh, like studios are just not 
giving it their all when it comes to their CGI usage. The problem isn't with CGI, it's with the way the studios are using it, and that is really the issue that we're seeing overall. Uh, the music is fine, but it's music we've seen in about a dozen other spy thrillers. Now, the way Vaughn uses that music does work uh, at times, plus there's uh, some songs that he uses to make the uh, scenes just more comedic, and that works overall as well. I really enjoyed this film overall, but I had problems with a lot of scenes, and there were just some moments that I felt were head-scratching. And like I said earlier, the film is definitely 30 minutes longer than it needs to be. So, with that being said, I am going to give Argyle a 6 out of 10. I still think it's a good time, but it's just not nearly as good as it could be. Anyway, that's what I thought about Argyle. What did you think about it if you've seen it? Let me know in the comments below, and if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.